This video will describe some of the RockWorks tools that can be used to assist with tunneling projects. We'll start by assuming that you've already used RockWorks to create a geologic block model. There are two ways to define the planned tunnel and to identify the materials encountered during the tunneling. The first method involves the creation of a list of tunnel segment endpoint coordinates. The tunnel clipping program is then used to create a block model that is limited to voxels within the tunnel segments. Detailed instructions for using this program are embedded within the right side of the program menu. Upon completion, a diagram will be displayed depicting the color-coded voxels encountered within the tunnel. As with all RockWorks diagrams, this diagram may be combined with other diagrams to provide a visual reference. The second method involves the creation of a deviated borehole orientation table with tunnel point azimuths and inclinations. The borehole clipping program is then used to create a block model that is limited to voxels within the borehole. As always, detailed instructions for using this program are embedded within the right side of the program menu. Upon completion, this program will create a block model that is limited to the materials encountered within the tunnel. In this example, a cutaway view of the geologic model has been combined with a tunnel voxel model. Statistics for the materials encountered within the tunnel are computed by using the Lithology Volumetrics program. This program can be used to create reports that list the volume, mass, and or percentage of each material type. By creating models in scheduled segments, it is possible to use these volumetrics to estimate material handling costs. Equally important is the ability to predict hazards and potential tunneling problems for each tunnel segment. Finally, sections showing the materials within and outside of the tunnel path can be created with the Lithology Section Program. Thanks for watching.